Welcome back, sirs and madams, to Let's Play Rayman 3 Hold'em Havoc. In the last episode, which was a month ago, I am sorry. I just... I've had so much stuff to do, you wouldn't even know. You can't even imagine, okay? You just can't even com begin to comprehend all these pancakes I've been eating the last month. And when I say pancakes, I mean assignments and school and, you know, family visits and all, you know, kind of sociable things. Oh, by the way, Black Lump. Black Aw, oh, it went away. He doesn't like me. Uh, anyway, as I said, I'm sorry for not uploading anything in about a month, but, you know, school... What else need I say? Um, but I have some good news. I've come up with a genius way of recording. You know, in my opinion, you know, not to boast or anything. But, um, it's very simple, but it works very well. Because he- oh god, they're just those things. Uh, you see, what I did, I've been complaining about how I can't hear any of the in-game audio at all lately, but now I can because I just connected my headphones to the computer. Uh, you see, because in the video recording software, they also play off the sound, which means I could- I, I have no idea why I didn't think of this earlier, but I just plug the headphones into the- em I was about to say emulator. Why the heck? The uh, recording software, excuse me, and um, well then I can hear anything. I can hear everything now, quite clearly as well. I like these headphones. So clear, so beautiful, so sexy. No, I'm not gonna creep you out in the first like five minutes of this video. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see you. Camera! Oh god! <laughs> Camera, what the heck are you doing to me, man? What the heck are you doing? Okay. So this is, I think there I think I've actually heard the names of these things now. They're called hecklers, I think. Yeah, not not Hitlers, hecklers. Yeah, there is a difference. There's quite a difference, actually. I have no idea why they're called hecklers, but. Oh well. I think these are the ones who are called hecklers anyway. Uh, there is a there's at least one mini boss enemy that is called a heckler, and well, I'm just going to assume that was it. And I could I could because because of these beautifully beautifully made headphones, I could now hear every ounce of pain coming out of that heckler's uh, screams or whatever. I did okay, it didn't scream. I actually could hear it didn't scream, but and I'm glad it didn't because that would have been slightly disturbing, and I would have felt bad about myself for killing an innocent creature. Yes. Okay. So, are they print? Are they printing guns in the background? Wow. That's. Um, Rayman, over here, quick, that's good. I oh, glow box. Glow box. Glow box. Oh, that's not good. Oh. What the heck? What? <laughs> good one, glow box. Good one. Uh, yeah, I could actually hear what it said now. Given that the garden variety glute only contains 318 polygons, you can plainly see why I'm on the cutting edge of 3D technology. <laughs> <laughs> the Globox just go British on us. Oh my goodness, Globox! I think I think I should. I you know I I knight thee, the comic relief of Rayman 3: Hoodlum Havoc. Yes, Murphy lost his title because we haven't seen any of him since since the dawn of men and women and children and puppies yes especially the puppies and also another teensy cage and I actually have a system for knowing if I've missed any teensy cages now because you see I have figured out that there are separate sections of every stage like when you go through a door and you get the rating like three or five four stars whatever palm stars whatevs and that's a section. I found this FAQ that said where the or not where the teensy cages are, but how many teensy cages there are in each section. And I figured out I got all the three in the first section of this area, but there are supposedly two in this section. Oh, well, you sneaky bastard, Hoodlum. Uh, there you are. Okay, so I'm looking for one more teensy cage, and then I'm done for this section. Then there are supposed to be two more in the next section again. And, uh... Well, that's it. Oh, well, that's it, really. What the... Did I? Oh, oh, I think I see. I think I do. Is there anything else in here? Something interesting at all? Particularly pancakes? No. Try that again, just for fun. Nothing? What's that? That's not a cage. Well, it is a cage, but not with the teens in it. Which makes it disappointing. 
Okay, I guess that's how it works then. I was supposed to go up here. Just didn't seem very familiar. Gun up. Well, does that mean I get to hear the funky music? No? How did you even get the funky music in here? Wow, what is this? This is a travesty! Oh, there we go. I didn't get the funky music when I was fighting that voodoo. What the, heck kind of, what the heck kind of crap is that, Ubisoft? I want to have the funky music. You know, give me a crappy anime, at least give me some funky music for a consolation prize. And there's not a prize, but I make it a prize. I put a price tag on it and I make it a prize. Captain Price. How do I even know that name? Oh yeah, that's right, Mr. Picario. Ah, huh. yeah, that's true. Yeah, he kind of plays a little bit of Call of Duty, you could say. I mean, it's okay. With, I'm, I'm okay with that, actually. I mean, I mean, I'm not... I only hate it when people who play Call of Duty are like, Call of Duty is the best... Well, not exactly when they're like, the best game ever, but when they're more like, um, you know, the Wii's for little girls. Glow <laughs> box, you are so silly. You are such a silly nanny, sir. When you're British, I oh my goodness, I could totally make that. You know the when I'm bored videos from uh, you know general parts of YouTube, where people usually just uh, put the original when I'm bored video and put other faces or other characters on them, like. Uh, when I'm Nigel, you know, as a Nigel Thornberry, or Nigel. When I'm uh, hungry with a uh, heavy from Team Fortress 2, you can totally make that with just with Glowbox, like when I'm British. Yes. Don't you dare steal that idea, by the way. I copyright that. I will sue you. I will sue you and your family. I might even sue your dog if you steal that idea. You know, I will definitely sue your dog. If you don't have a dog, then I will make you have a dog. Magically. Oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, well, that was exquisite, wasn't it? It's three. Well, that was quite exquisite. It threw me off my course. It did. Now I have to pick up this bollocks again. I never know. I know bollocks isn't the word for ball, but I like saying it anyway. So you shut up. But control stick. Why are you acting so weird all of a sudden? This is strange. Well, the music also got really quiet all of a sudden. Oh well. Okay, let's try that without the control stick going bazoongas on my neck. Whatever the heck that means. Don't ask me. I invented this phrase and I will I can destroy it just as easily. That doesn't make much sense. Ah, there's the other Kinsey cage. Uh, how do I put it down? X? Oh, thank goodness. I would have sucked so much if I like pushed the wrong button and I threw it into a cliff. Even though there's no cliffs here, just you know, mountains. I have to go laminate my boxes. You have to go laminate your what? Oh, laminate your boxers. Oh, oh. Oh, well, that's a strange hobby now, isn't it? I'm not gonna bother killing these guys yet. I'll let them have their fun before I destroy them. You know. It'll be like in Austin Powers. I'll drive over them with a, um, I'll drive over them with a truck, and they'll be like standing in the way for like five minutes. They'll be like, "Get out of the way!" And then they'll be like, "Ah!" screaming, and then I'll be like, "Oh no, so many lives wasted." <laughs> ah, probably be like that. God, that was unnecessary violence. Oh. Um. It's funny because Glowbox is British all of a sudden. Uh, okay. Give me your souls. Oh my goodness, that is disturbing. Oh. Okay, so I have to learn how to shoot, do I? Now, this is definitely one of the most interesting parts of the game, in my opinion, you see? You have to hit the right uh, people, which is, which, interestingly enough, are Rayman and Glowbox here, with your fists, and don't hit the poor lady thing, creepy things, whatever. And I'm pretty sure you have to hit each and every one that comes along with Glowbox and Rayman, because if not, I think you'll lose points or something. And, you know, the, the, the health bar sort of works like points, I think. And they'll start going faster. Oh crap. 
Okay, don't hit the ladies, then you'll lose points. <laughs> don't do like Jacob Conroy said, as, you know, if you see a lady, you should probably hit her up for money. Oh, crap. You see, that's what I get for mentioning Jacob Conroy in my videos. Not that Jacob Conroy's bad or anything, not, a, not at all, actually. He's doing Pokemon Emerald right now, that sneaky bastard. He got it out before I did. I was planning on replaying Pokemon Emerald, man. But then all of a sudden, Chug Conroy was like, Nope, Chug a Testa. And then I'm like, Rage face all over the place. Face. <laughs> so much rhyming. Okay, I believe I've gotten everything. I've gotten the two TNT cages in this section, so I'm good to go. I believe I am anyway. And if you believe otherwise, then you are sh well, you're entitled to your opinion now, aren't you? Okay, next bonus level in 35,000 points. Cricket. No, you have so entered into the foundry, the black lungs of Haha, <laughs> <laughs> puns. Uh, it's funny because robots makes puns now, so we'll Robots, what the heck am I talking about? The lady. Air traffic control has oh. announced that the leptus is about to land on the tower someday. I mean, there is something about her voice that sounds a little bit robotic now, isn't there? Due to the extreme ah. sensitivity oh. of the god, we kindly ask you not to drink in his presence. And to avoid verifying the room temperature. What? Uh. Huh. Well, that is sort of the negative thing about this uh, thing where I could... The negative thing about the thing with the thing and the place and the thing. You know, because... The negative thing about me hearing everything now, because... That basically means that I am interrupted every 30 seconds by somebody speaking. Which is a little, you know... It's a little crappy in my opinion, but ah, I'll live with it. In my opinion, it's not that crappy either. What the heck kind of minigame? Is this? This is madness. But it's so awesome. I can even hear the clickety clacking when you hit these gems and the and you, when you hit the lockjaw things. Oh my goodness, I was lucky that on the other hand was not. I'm gonna die, am I? Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna die, am I? Wow, wow. I I deserve an Oscar for that. English performance right there. That was, I prefer, I really do, I really, really think I do deserve an Oscar for that. Okay. Wow, I don't get the awesome music for these either. Oh well. So much for Gubisoft giving me good music in this game. Jeez. Now, speaking of this game, it's a little funny because it doesn't have anything to do with this game. Well, it sort of does, really. But, uh, I recently finished Rayman Origins, which I have to say, uh, honestly, I'm a little disappointed because I really hoped for some kind of origin story, you know, hence the title, but, uh, we kind of got a silly, silly, silly as in silly good, though, uh, silly Rayman 1 style platformer instead, which I really liked how much it was, how much it was like Rayman 1, because that's probably, well, Possibly my f possibly uh, is probably one of my favorite 2D platformers of all time, which is saying a lot because I did, after all, like live on 2D platformers when I was a kid. That's what I grew up on, I should say. First platform I remember playing: Super Mario Land 3, Mario Land. Oh goodness gracious! I just jumped into oh, camera, camera. Oh my goodness, that was creepy. Camera, don't you ever say that word again, ever. Okay, okay, we have an agreement here, very good. Now if you're wondering what's up with the random screaming and, you know, random quotes all of a sudden, uh, well, watch the a parody of One Piece called None Piece uh, by somebody called Purple Eyes, what the F, or WTF, Purple Eyes, WTF, I think, on here on the YouTubes, because it's quite hilarious. I mean, a girl in... I shared it with a girl in my class, and she laughed her ass off. Not literally, though, because, well... That would be quite unfortunate for her, wouldn't it? Oh, goodness gracious! I almost died. <laughs> almost died! Oh, almost fell off a cliff. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a little bit of an inside joke with me and uh, Mr. Potato Madness. Where I... Well, I introduced him to, you know, Tabascus here on YouTube as well. So, 
and I was uh, he wondered what it was actually like the bus scoot was like and then I was like well yeah I was like and I was like blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry I'm sorry for the 14 14 year old English here but I can really real yeah just really can't do any better at this moment but uh, I did the impression of the bus kids and I I did some really random I said some really random stuff really 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 and uh, well I, it ended up by me saying oh almost fell off a cliff or something along the lines of yeah, that zombie pigman I'm eating your brother smell the flesh of your brethren yes very good <laughs> and something about the gas from Minecraft I don't know that's it that's just about it for that story anyway but now little why do I suck at this why that's not even hygienic it's filled with lava I should be sucking lava lava isn't it's not good for your teeth okay we got holes in your teeth and the teeth will have babies and the babies will be like you have to send them to a nursery or school or, or in the nursery I don't even know but it's bad okay don't drink lava kids I'm just saying not very it's not very healthy for your teeth at all not is not even in the slightest form oh uh, let me see yeah go uh, so yeah back to Rayman origins uh, not, why didn't I do this why didn't I just do this to begin with I'm a dumbass uh, anyway back to Rayman origins as I was trying to say again um, so yeah, as I said, a little disappointed, but general, we like with the story and stuff because there is basically no story in that game. But the gameplay was very good. Best I've best I've encountered in years, basically for a platformer. It was original, well, not exactly original, but well, yeah, actually. And the art style was really good. I did have the Wii version, but I couldn't see that much of a difference between the Wii version and the PS3 and Xbox version. I mean, of course, you could see the resolution and such, you know, it's not as high in things and, you know, little graphical things like that. But now we get this um, shenanigan music, I could call it, but uh, I'm not fapping in the background, I tell you. I'm trying to... Trying to... What's it called? Oh, goodness, I can't remember what it's called. I'm trying to, like... Oh, goodness gracious. Snap! Snap my fingers, but I can't because I never learned to do that properly. So I'm just—I have this own method of mine where I. Okay, you know what? Whatever. I can't. I can't sit here talking about me snapping my fingers. That sounds like fapping. Um, in the next episode of Let's Play Rayman 3: Hoodlum Havoc, uh, we will be going towards the top of this. Uh, what was it called? The foundry room thing, and. Uh, you know, if we're lucky, we might even encounter that woman that's talking into the microphone all the time. You know, I have a microphone, she has a microphone, we're both talking to people. We, I, I, I can see how we could get along, but um, I need to end this episode now. Uh, thanks for watching, see you guys next time. Um, Mayor Pancakes live in prosperity.